Hello and welcome to How to Win a Lynx. I'm Nick from the awards team and today we'll go through the value of the award, what you need for a winning award strategy, what's new in the awards this year, how to craft your entries, and also a peek into the judging process. What is Dubai Lynx? So Dubai Lynx is a festival, but also an awards show, which celebrates the creativity for and from the MENA region. A Lynx is the most prestigious prize you can win in the region, and the winners are celebrated locally, but also recognized globally as Dubai Lynx is part of the Cannes Lions stable of awards. The biggest question we get asked is, what can winning a Lynx do for my business? What is the value of these awards? Well, let's go back and ask a question. What is the value of creativity in the first place? As champions for creativity, we believe that it will bring us through the pandemic and recession. Like Ari Weiss, CCO at DDB says, we're on the precipice of seeing some of the most creative solutions the world has ever seen. And we agree. At a point where the world is demanding change, we need to activate our right brains to generate new ideas and solutions. The world is demanding it. And that's precisely why creativity is a fundamental business growth driver. The sentiment feels intuitive, but is there evidence to back this up? Well, here's BBDO's CEO, Andrew Robertson, talking about research by Peter Field. Once and for all, do creative awards matter? Is there a correlation between winning creative awards and sales effect, business effect? Um, and what he did was he took uh, as his sample all of the IPA effectiveness case studies that had been uh, submitted to that point. So the universe is just work that is very effective. And then he separated it out into those cases where in addition to winning effectiveness awards, they'd won lots of creative awards and those where they hadn't. And what he found is this chart, which is very, very important. The ones that had won lots of creative awards were 11 times, 11 times more effective than the ones that had just won effectiveness awards. The research he references there went on to show that across a range of business metrics, creatively awarded work outperforms non-creatively awarded work. Consumers are less price sensitive, for example. Businesses grow market share. They gain more sales and more loyalty, as you can see here. However, in 2016, there was a panic. The updated report revealed that for the first time in the 20-year run of data, creatively awarded campaigns had started to lose their effectiveness advantage. Now, to be clear, creatively awarded campaigns are still considerably more effective than non-awarded campaigns, but a destructive downward trend has developed. And why? Well, most of the t deterioration can be put down to short-termism. Focus on short-term sales activations has taken precedence over long-term brand building efforts. The imbalance towards short-term gains and ROI is hurting the industry at large. It's a whole another presentation to get into the balancing of short-term sales driving efforts versus long-term branding building efforts. Uh, and most of you know all about it. But by now, it suffices to say that high quality creativity is still more effective than low quality creativity. But especially so if you're not neglecting the long term brand building creativity. And how do you know if your work is high quality or not? You benchmark it against the best in the region by entering Dubai links. Even if you don't win a links, you get a gauge of where your work lies on the scale. But if you do win, you might be saying these things that we consistently hear from winners every year. One, Lynx Awards help not only retain, but also attract new clients. Similarly, they do the same for talent. If you're doing exciting, award-winning work, the best in the business want to work for you and flex their creative muscles. If you win at Dubai Lynx, the exposure extends across the MENA region and even glo globally as it's associated with the Lions family of festivals. The Lynxes are the most creative award around. Professionally, your career improves if you're able to win a Lynx, from being headhunted to being able to charge higher fees if you're a freelancer. And most importantly, the overall level of creativity at your agency can improve if you're using Lynxes to benchmark and push your team to achieve ever more interesting and impressive work. 
We don't want you to aim for a length itself. Aim for doing exceptional creative work and the trophies will follow as a result. Now let's move on to how to create an award-winning culture. If we know that winning awards is a byproduct of really creative and effective work, then what does it take to win a Lynx, the pinnacle of achievement in this region? First off, you'll need a plan. Do what Rothko did a few years ago and set an award strategy and process in place. It's highly unlikely that you'll achieve consistent success without this. A successful award strategy adopted by people who seem to know how to win regularly usually works like this. It's a process of entering the work and then win or lose, learning from the winners and benchmarking yourself against them. Use what you've learned and absorbed from winners and insights that come out of the festival to adjust your approach to work uh, and entries for the next year. All of these elements combined can inform what you create for your clients and push for creative excellence. It's an investment, so even more reason to strategize. And the two core elements to the strategy hinge on the work, but also the people behind the work. Let's think about the people. Who is going to be involved and how? When it comes to the people, there are three key players or groups. The entry coordinator, so this should be someone who will be around for a few months, since this process can take that long. Don't leave it to an intern. Um, they should also be someone who has really good relations with all departments in the company, since they will be getting the information from everyone around in different teams. They usually work with us to learn about our eligibility rules, judging processes, categories, and changes. They learn what to pay attention to and what your company's blind spots may be, and then feed this all back to the creative and executive teams. The Creative Council is a common name we've heard for the group of senior creatives who regularly get together to go over the work that you've put out over the year. They establish goals, they manage entry production budget and consider relevant categories for the work. Ideally, one or more people on the council have jury experience, especially at one of our award shows. They can pass on advice of how the jury process works, how the jury assess each entry and what they look for and what keeps their interest peaked after hours of watching entry film after entry film. And finally, winning an award should be shouted from the heavens. If you want to get the full benefits from them, involve your press team or person in amplifying the message of the win on behalf of your company, but also the client. Now let's turn our attention to the work. The key is to be strategic, but not in the way you think. Don't try and game the system and play the odds. And by that, I mean, you know, asking us to tell you which categories are the least subscribed to so that you might enter them for a better chance of winning something. The truth is the jury are not forced to give out a gold, silver, bronze per category. Rather, they judge the work based on its own merits and award metal where it's deserved. What's more important is targeting your entries to the most relevant categories. I've seen it happen in almost every jury room where the jury love a piece of work, but they don't upgrade it to a silver, for example, because it doesn't suit the category. It's crucial to find the right categories for your work, but with over 400 categories in 19 lynxes, we don't expect you to learn them all off by heart. We can help. We usually speak to the entry coordinators and select the best categories for you, which are relevant to your pieces of work. More details at the end of this. And finally, learn from the winning work. Pay attention to how they craft their case films, especially because that is key. And involve your clients in this process. Show them what's possible. Show them what's possible in their sector and what bold work looks like and can do for their brand. Digging deeper into the entry side of things, Let's look at the Lynx Awards and categories. And here is the family of Lynxes where the awards come from. We award creative marketing communications across 18 of these Lynx Awards. And this year we have a new edition, Creative Strategy. But before that, let me explain how each Lynx is structured. So what we start with is the awards or Lynx architecture. At the top you have the, the Lynx or the award that you're after winning. And within each Lynx there are various sections filled with categories. These are the, 
the categories are the things that you want to pay attention to. If you're entering work into the healthcare links, then you are also required to specify the medium or media where your campaign ran. The creative strategy links. This award celebrates the genius that planners and strategists bring to the creative process. Here it's all about the idea behind the idea, the long-term thinking and implementation that can redefine a brand, reinvent its business, and even influence consumers or a wider culture. To be eligible for the creative strategy links, the strategy being judged relates to the work first implemented between for 2020 work, the 1st of February 2019 to the 29th of February 2020, and for 2021 work, the 1st of March 2020 to the 14th of February 2021. Because the jury will need to consider the strategy in more detail, there is a different media requirement if you're entering this links. It is compulsory to supply an information deck. This is a PDF which gives you the chance to really showcase all aspects of the strategy at every stage. You can find guidance on this information deck on the Creative Strategy page on our website. We have launched the Industry Craft Links to celebrate the creative artistry, talent and skill required to deliver a beautifully executed solution and bring a creative idea to life, which is reimagined from the print and outdoor craft links. This is the award to enter which celebrates the classic and timeless disciplines of creativity, namely art direction, illustration, photography, copywriting, and typography, including Arabic script and calligraphy. Also new for 2020, we've introduced a digital craft section within the digital links. You can also enter your new realities or voice activated entries into the new realities or voice activation categories within the mobile or brand experience and activation links. As a side note, we've also combined uh, sectors such as food and drinks or travel and leisure across a number of categories. And as we do every year, we've updated the categories and sections to remove or merge underperforming or irrelevant categories. We've also removed the one entry limit in the film links. Another addition in 2020 is the introduction of a new section of six categories found within those seven awards. These are categories which celebrate work with a specific focus on context. We listened to the market and responded to your need to showcase the sometimes boutique niche work that may not go global but exceeds anything done in the category before. This section was introduced to Can Lions and proved really popular with entrants. A high proportion of winners also came out of these categories. They are places where you will find a place for all those entries which are only run in a specific region or market or are challenging the top players. Maybe it's a global brand modifying its work specifically to appeal to a single market. Maybe it's a piece that hinges on some sort of audience insight. Or maybe it's something with impressive results relative to the budget. The culture and context section also includes the new category called market disruption. This category celebrates work that has creatively embraced an adapt and adopt approach to the work in response to local or regional or, as we've had this year, global issues. This work should have embraced new ways of delivering for the brand while showcasing consideration for the consumer. And then I wanted to touch on some key rules for entering. These are not new, but good to know before you begin. It is important to know that after you've checked out your entries on the system, even if you haven't paid for them yet, you cannot amend or replace the media in your entries afterwards. Your entry must also have the applicable music licenses or any rights required for the media to be seen publicly, if you win, for example. And you must have permission from the brand or client before entering. Moving on, let's look at the all-important dates. Because we did not host a festival in 2020, at the next one, we will award work from the 2020 eligibility period as well as the 2021 eligibility period. The work eligible for each year's festival will be judged by the same jury, but separately. So separate links will be awarded accordingly. It varies slightly depending on the links you've entered, but generally the 2020 eligibility period is between the 1st of February 2019 to the 29th of February 2020. 
This is referred to as 2020 work. The 2021 eligibility period is between the 1st of March 2020 and the 14th of February 2021, referred to as the 2021 work. And no matter what happens in 2021, we will be awarding Lynxes in May this year. And here's the entry timeline of important upcoming dates. We are open now, so please get in touch if you have any queries. Which brings us to the top tips for creating and submitting your entry. I've never won one, but I've talked to a lot of people who have and they've shared their insights and advice with us. The key tool to use before finalizing your entry media is the entry kit. The entry kit is available on our website and is like a bit of an entries Bible or Quran, which explains all the categories, their requirements and rules and sample questions from the online entry form. Don't neglect the written portion of your entry. It's not all about the case film. The details in your written submission and media placement can and often do make the difference in the jury room. Here are two juries recorded at our sister festival, Can Lions, explaining what to think about when you're preparing the written submission. I suggest everybody be very careful of what you write because we actually read it. Uh, most people, I, I know it sounds really ridiculous, but some people think that uh, they're useless, but we actually go through those pieces of information to judge the piece. We saw the work that continued to advance up was work that had an equally strong surgical with the language written case study that started with an insight, was clear about the strategy, and really delivered on the results. So um, don't just let that be uh, a once over. I think that precision needs to really take place in the written case study. Now let's go through the all important case film. It's not the only part of your entry that the jury will look at, but it is in many ways the face of your entry. But before we go into case film specifics, did you know that they are not required or only supplementary in these circled lengths? It depends on the category within them, whether or not you should provide some other sort of supporting media, but in most cases it's fine to go ahead and enter these lengths with just the creative execution and the write-up. I must stress that it does depend on the category within these lengths, but this is a bit of a cheat sheet that can be used as a general guide. If you want to save on entry fees, then enter your films, radio ads, prints, etc. early, before the next deadline, and then spend time on the entries that require case films thereafter. So how do those people who win Lynxes fairly regularly approach the case film? They have stopped thinking about them as case films to be made after the campaign, and started calling them mini documentaries to be thought of and made alongside the production of your project. When done well, they have multiple purposes. They can be used in pitches, on your website, on social to promote your agency, or even in your personal portfolio, as well as awards. It is an investment, so think beyond awards when creating a case film. If the client likes it, they will also use it, or most of it, to further promote the campaign, and that way, you can sleep with a clear conscience after you've added the cost of the production to the overall campaign budget. But what about the jury? What do they recommend? First of all, keep it short. Just to provide a bit of context, our jurors will watch over 200 case films a day before they reach the actual shortlist. So treat it like a piece of editorial. Front load with the important points, then flesh them out thereafter. There is a two minute limit, but that's not a goal. If you can do it in shorter time, that shows that you respect the jury's time. Here's an example, a winner from 2019.
जाने के लिए कोई मुश्किल नहीं होगा ये तरीका आसान लगता है That took just 77 seconds to explain the objective, execution, that can be done. Time and time again, our juries have fed back to us that category selection and relevance to the categories is absolutely crucial. There are a lot of categories across the lenses, and again, we are here to help. We have a great team of experienced awards experts that can help you select the right categories for your work. You just need to send us a summary, or a link or a rough cut of your case film or whatever you have to awards at dubailinks.com and our team will get back to you within 48 hours with some category suggestions. Here are two different juries from our sister festival, Can Lions, reflecting on the importance of making sure you choose the right category. Remember, we use the same judging process for all of our award shows. We actually saw things that were not necessarily they were inserted in the right categories. And I think uh, one thing that we learn is that if you insert your exceptional work in the right category, which is something that not always happens, if it's exceptional, it will, it will kind of rise uh, to the top. There is a strategy in entering, not only in crafting it, but as well as choosing. There is one thing that we have been debating on a lot of uh, campaigns that we thought that this is a brilliant piece of work, but in another category. And we are not allowed to choose uh, or to move anything to a different category. There were campaigns, if it was entered in a different category, that would have won. It's just that they were just randomly entered in a particular category where there are other powerful work or it's not as relevant. The real beauty of that idea was maybe in public affairs or, or issues or reputation and it was entered into maybe CSR or something. And, and, and that is where we need to be more strategic about really looking at the categories, what it means, understanding because there are descriptions on it and having a strategy of entering in the right category. Also, keep it simple. This is your baby and there's a tendency to want to include every scrap of detail. But take a step back. Reimagine the work for a new audience and distill it down to its core elements, especially for those long running campaigns which have multiple media touch points. Be clear about what you've done, assume no prior knowledge of anything to do with your entry. Remove industry jargon and, if possible, get other people to look at it, especially people who don't work in advertising. Can you play the case film with the sound off? And it's still comprehensible? Excellent, then it's ready. Think about cultural context. Explain how you arrived at your insights and then why the execution was so relevant. Don't produce a case film aimed at someone from your country or from an English-speaking country. Try to explain it for someone from Japan or Iceland or Russia because that's the reality of the jury in the room. Make use of subtitles and introductory slides. They're all welcome. The whole jury process means that your work is going to be judged by people from all corners of the world. So understand that cultural context is extraordinarily important. You know, we had a lot of discussion in the room when cases were presented and there were often, it, it was often the case that some of the jurors literally didn't really understand the power of the idea. So we had to sometimes stop and explain. So think very carefully about how you present your work. Make it really simple to understand. If there is a really important local market nuance that's critical, make it clear and easy to understand. And here's a 2019 winner. That really explains my point about culture and context. FGM is the forcible removal of a girl's external genitals. A violation of the human rights of girls. Globally, 200 million women have been affected. In Egypt alone, over 87% of women are victims. FGM is a harmful tradition passed on from generation to generation. <laughs> كان عندها سبع سنين وكانت جايه بنزيف حاد شديد جدا ودخلت في شق وطبعا توفت. How do we break the cycle 
and get the next generation to say no. Introducing the Zero Tolerance Ribbon, a statement of defiance against FGM. By taking the Universal Awareness Ribbon and turning it upside down, we created a symbol that is the Arabic word for no. Launched across hospitals in Egypt, we are educating new parents about the damaging effects of this practice and encouraging them to protect their daughter's rights by signing a pledge saying no to FGM. Our message spread as the community came together to take a stand. The strongest advocates are the families themselves. Even the Egyptian government got involved. Egypt announced this weekend it intends to tighten legislation against female genital mutilation. And On the International Awareness Day of FGM, the global community adopted the symbol. The initiative will be presented at the UN Commission of the Status of Women in March this year. Let's stand together to end female genital mutilation. It feels silly to ask a bunch of storytellers to tell their story. But sometimes this gets lost when creating a case film. So many of them are overly formulaic and we know why. It's because you're trying to address the judging criteria in the film. But remember, in order for your case film to be remembered by the jury, use stories and characters. Structure your case film around a compelling narrative. This is more likely to make an impact on the jury and make your entry a little bit more memorable. Be aware that the results count slightly differently for each links. In some cases, they aren't required at all. So provide them and make sure they are robust, clear, and relate back to the original goals, the strategies and objectives. Be honest, provide quantitative figures and stats that the jury can refer to if needed. If you have too many results to fit into the case film, please add them to the written submission. And results was really surprising because it was worth 30% of the mark. So that's huge. So when, I mean, I'm guilty of entering direct and just being like, oh, and there was this many impressions and somebody did this. But you really have to get really specific about it, especially with, um, like, you could say you had one billion impressions and that doesn't really mean a lot. Like, it means more if 100 people downloaded your app and uh, you know, interacted with what you did and bought something, that means way more. Here's a bronze winner from 2019 as an example of a case film which displays relevant results. Kuwait sees potentially record-setting heat. Even the weather forecasts say this year's temperatures are much above average. Kuwait, the hottest place on Earth. 149.6 million kilometers from the sun. But it feels like this. So hot, you can literally fling grill a burger. Burger King Kuwait presents the Sun Flame Grilled Whopper. We built a solar machine that harnesses the power of the sun's rays to create the ultimate flame grill experience. When the temperature reaches a staggering 50 degrees in Kuwait, it is time to cook our Sun Flame Grilled Burgers. The Sun Flame Grilled Whopper, available for a limited time in Kuwait every time the temperature reaches 50 degrees. The Sun Flame Grilled Whopper. We don't just flame grill, we sun flame grill. And things off the sun grill got hotter than the grill itself. We shared our Sun Flame Grilled Whoppers with the world, and they caught fire fast. That 
is how two kings came together and ruled the summer. Congratulations to Burger King there, who won a bronze in PR and a media shortlist in 2019. So those are our top tips for crafting your entry. Don't forget that you can view the past winners on the Dubai Links website to see how the competition and the winners have crafted their entries. This is a really excellent learning resource. Now let's look at the judging criteria and process. This might help to demystify how it's done and understand what the jury go through, which can be useful when crafting your entry. Within the entry kit, you want to pay attention to the materials required for the category, but also the judging criteria. Entries into some of the linkses are judged primarily on the creative idea, whereas entries into other linkses are judged on up to four criteria. The example here is for the design links. Here the jury will be casting marks on the idea, the execution and the results, and they're all weighted slightly differently, which reveals a sense of the priorities for that jury. Are you addressing each of these in your case film, for example, or in your write-up? The judging criteria relate to the work that that Lynx receives and what each jury finds important. Some juries only cast one mark per entry, whereas others cast multiple marks based on the criteria, which are weighted slightly differently. And here's another example. Sometimes the results can count up to 30% of the overall vote. Here I've circled the awards where the jury cast multiple votes per entry. These links correlate with the entries that we highly recommend you create a case film for. But ensure that your case film addresses each of the judging criteria for the links that you're submitting into. If you can customize your entry or your case film for each links, that will go a long way to showing the jury you are concerned with what they find important rel relative to each links. Finally, let's discuss judging to demystify the process here and give you a better understanding of the importance of our requirements. In the first round, the jury are usually judging solo and they have to consider every piece of media that you supply before they can cast their marks. Voting changes to a two thirds majority rule, i.e. two thirds of the jury have to agree on the decision from the shortlist review stage onwards where the jury decide if they're happy with the top ranked entries in the links. From here on, the write-ups are scrutinized even closer. Guided by the jury president, the jury reviews and debates entries in the shortlist before voting on whether they consider each a gold or a silver or a bronze winner, or to remain on the shortlist only. The jury sometimes have further questions for the entrants at this late stage, so we may be in touch on their behalf and we will need you to provide really reliable contact details on the entry form. Candidates for the Grand Prix are selected from gold winners. Further discussion of these leads to a last vote to determine the Grand Prix winner. Again, there has to be two thirds majority. The jury cannot move entries into different categories at any stage. So again, another reason to get this right early on. And that brings us to a close. I hope it's been useful for you. With a combined 30 years of experience, our awards team are available to do a one-to-one -one workshop based on your potential entries. So please get in touch. It's free expert advice. Thank you very much.